So today has not been uh, the best day. So about two weeks ago, I flew my drone into a tree, a 60 foot tree. And so I put a harness on and I climbed to the 60 foot tree and I got the drone out. Uh, when I got the drone out, there was a broken front arm pivot joint. So we ordered the part and about two weeks later, which is pretty much today, uh, I fixed it. We had to make a day trip to Ostersund yesterday, which was about a two hour drive. So we had a rest day yesterday, a little day trip. But anyway, today I fixed the drone and not even an hour later, I flew it into another tree. And I would be lying if I said that that has not affected my mood today or even right now. It kind of gives me anxiety even talking about it or thinking about it. So, yeah. But we are heading to the gym now. We're going to, I'm going to have a good workout as best as I can. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, I bought the Rode mic in Mexico about over a month ago and I finally got the cable. So, I can be a little bit more clear on what I'm saying in the gym. Uh, makes me feel like I can be more transparent with my thoughts, uh, my knowledge, the stuff I want to share with you guys. So that's a plus. Uh, we picked up some new pre-workout yesterday that hopefully doesn't make you feel fucked up or I'm like a crackhead. Uh, also got some beta alanine to really give me that like upper itchy tingly feeling. Uh, I have not used it in a long time, but I have good hopes for it, and yeah, that pretty much just sums up the car talk for today. Um, I, I'm in my head with the whole drone situation, even though we're heading to the gym now, so uh, we will see you at the gym, and we're going to have a good workout. Alright, so... I think I'm going to do a chest day today. So I'm just gonna warm the shoulder up first a little bit. Let me take this jacket off. Just trying to get the shoulders a little loose. Rotator cuffs warm. I would do legs today but I have to climb a tree tomorrow, so I don't think it's uh, very smart to have leg pain climbing up a tree. That's probably gonna be rather challenging more than the last time. I really just do these until I start to feel like a slight muscle pain in my shoulders, like a, a small pump. And after these, I'll grab a pair of light dumbbells, do some other rotator cuff movements, get the posterior, medial, and front delt just a little warm. Oh, okay, I think that's good. Roll them out. Okay. So yeah, these are just two kilos. So these are like five pound dumbbells. You don't need anything. Well, I don't need anything extremely heavy. We just do nice and slow and controlled lateral raises. Same concept with the resistance band. Just do these until you really just feel a small pump in your delts. About 10 more, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, that's I got a small pump going on. So now I just do some front raises. I normally don't do front raises because 
I tend to work a lot of my front delts with just about any pressing movement, whether that be a bench press, a barbell bench press, a dumbbell bench press, dumbbell incline, barbell incline. You tend to use your front delts a lot in that movement. So I don't want to overwork my front delts as they develop quite effectively just by those pressing movements. Okay. Oh yeah. Starting to feel a little bit on fire now. So now I'll do one more movement. I don't know exactly what you call these. I call them the rotor, you can call them rotator cuff. I don't know, but yeah, you just bring them up like this. And you really just get that rotator cuff warm. And these, you don't have to do a whole lot of. Well, at least I don't, because I fatigue fairly quick with these. All right, so that's gonna do it for the warm up. <sighs> yeah, so when I first started lifting like eight, nine years ago, I hardly ever stretched. But yeah, as you get older, you realize how important stretching is before any type of workout. You have, you know, your muscles are just, they get more loose and more engaged when you're, you know, in your early 20s, when I was 19, 20, 21. You know, I could just literally get a pump so easily. Now it's like, I really have to take precautions leading up to the actual working sets. So my first exercise is going to be the barbell bench press. Now I'm only gonna do two sets of these and I'm going very light. This is going to really get my chest warm up for my primary movements for chest, but you know, high volume on this first exercise just to get a good, you know, some blood circulation in the chest, get a good small pump. And then after these two sets, then we'll get the ball rolling with the actual primary exercises. So I'm gonna do the warm up with the bar, 10 to 15 reps, just really focus on controlling the movement. Then I'll add a, just a little bit of weight, nothing crazy, maybe a 25, maybe a 45. But I tend not to do barbell bench press so much because I have a shoulder injury. And yeah, just the, the risk isn't worth it. Uh, I, can, I find, I have found more optimal exercises for, you know, building strength in the chest and muscle mass. So that's enough talking. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. Now, let's throw just a little bit of weight on these. So with this first set, these first two sets, I'll probably aim around 20 reps. That's really gonna allow me to get some blood flowing, get a small pump. 17. Okay. That wasn't so bad. My shoulder pops every single time though. That's why I just, when I do unilateral training with the chest, it works so much better for me. So we'll take these 25s off and uh, throw a 45 on. Last set with the barbell.
Oh. All right, so I think I've just realized that under the circumstances for today, just don't really have a whole lot of mental capacity to really talk so much. So I'm just going to get through these exercises. My first primary movement is going to be the floor press, three sets of eight. This first one's going to be a warm up, a fuel set, just to get you know used to the movement, which I do it a lot. So, but just making sure everything's working together. And yeah, here we go. So, quick warm up, these are extremely lightweights. What are these? Probably like 25 ish pounds. Yeah. So, now these next three sets, I'm going to really go heavy for every set. So, let's see what we can start with. All right, so I think these are like 65s. So these are actually, they can be tricky as you go heavier, but with these aren't gonna be a problem. So like you would do like on a dumbbell bench press, put them on your knees, and then you'll just kind of shoot yourself backwards and lift your knees up. I already feel a decent pump in my chest. So yeah, two more sets, we're gonna go heavier. Really just trying to release and let go of the negative energy that's been here today. And yeah, it's not always right away and it's not always easy. But yeah, I could say coming to the gym is a good way to do that. But even when you do come to the gym and try to clear your head of what has been more of a bad day than good, your workout's not always gonna be the best. But if this is a way to uh, do something just to get you through the day, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <sighs> so, I think these are, I have no idea. These are each 10 pounds, because they say five kilos. So 10, 10, 30, 30, 60. Then you have, it's 70, those are five each side. And then you got the bar, so I'd say like 75-ish, 80-ish. Who cares? We're gonna lift it anyway. Yeah. On the bench press, it's so much easier to lift the dumbbells up because you can stand up with them and set them on your knees as you sit down. <clears throat> Might get a little more difficult to film as more people show up, but we're gonna do our best to get everything on film. So here we go.
All right, so this is the last set. The dumbbell floor press. And maybe I go into the other room, do my second movement there, and give these other people some space to work out. This is like the main room. There's not much space, especially when a lot of people get in here. <clears throat> Last set. Why I do <sighs> the floor press? I made videos on it before, but by being on the floor, the ground acts as a extra way of stabilization. That's the correct word I'm looking for. By your shoulder blades being on the floor rather than a bench, it keeps you from using too much scapular retraction. Because <sighs> in that case, if you have too much, you'll be pressing with your front delt a lot. And because that's where my injury occurs the most, on my right shoulder, I find these to be very effective. They feel good. And I notice a lot of progress. I feel like my chest has gotten bigger. My strength has gone up with the movement. So I'm going to keep doing them. All right, so next exercise is going to be the dumbbell incline. So given what is available for chest equipment here, uh, I feel like the movements I'm going to do today are the most efficient ones. That's going to give me the most effective pump, as you could say. So we just did a flat press. Then we're going to do dumbbell incline. It's going to be the upper chest. And... Yeah, we're just going to go slowly and go with the flow, as you could say. So I'm going to start heavy with these, of course, three sets of eight. No need to do a warm up. My chest is already pretty warm. So all right, first set. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about that set. I actually don't know if that was heavy or not. I don't know how I feel about that set, but I'm gonna grab whatever the next set of heavier dumbbells is and yeah, just go with the flow. That felt better than the last time. So we're gonna move on and go one more heavier for the last set, then off to the next exercise. The only thing I need to not do, what I did with those last two sets, is to keep my elbows not so flared out. I'm gonna keep them more flared out. Yeah, obviously, you use more of your shoulders. And yeah, when I do chest, my priority is to not use my shoulders as much as possible. Sometimes it's hard, but that is my focus point when I do chest is just to lay off this right shoulder, well, both shoulders from working when they don't need to. So rather than keeping my palms facing up, Kind of bring them inwards. All right, last set. Oh, 
probably do two more exercises for chest, which is something that I also prioritize is something that I've done in the past is do so many sets and so many reps and yeah. Sometimes less is better when more isn't working. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do now. I'll probably lay this bench a little bit more flat down. Do some dumbbell flies, two sets. Try to go to a failure, honestly. Now we're really trying to just stimulate as much muscle growth as possible. So two sets will be good. <sighs> All right, so these are These are approximately like 12 kilo dumbbells, so somewhere around 25-ish pounds. How's it going? All right, last set. Fuck. All right, so this is gonna be the last exercise for today. Do some cable chest flies. Just do two sets and really just squeeze on them. So in total for today, we would have done 12 sets. It's good enough for today. Also this right cable, it acts as it needs like some WD-40 or something. So yeah, we're just gonna do the best and work with it and try to squeeze. Those aren't so bad. So with this one, if you keep the, the motion short, then it doesn't have to go up all the way when, and that's when it gets uh, like caught. So we'll do one more set. That set was fairly easy, so we'll bump the weight pretty substantially. So, so this is gonna be the last set oh, for today. Yeah, it's just one of those days. We all have them. But we're gonna try to end on a. We're gonna try to end on a good note. And really, just squeeze this shit. So. Yeah, so you know, despite the energy from today, the motions, the circumstances, we came here, we did what we could, and sometimes that's all you can be proud of, and that's okay. You know, coming to the gym because you feel like it's a safe place to escape everything that happened during the day. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So for somebody who's felt like this, then just know you're not alone. And there will be better days. And I'll be able to look back on this chest day. And yeah, you can consider it not one of the best ones, but 
Yeah, it'll just be better days. Tomorrow is a new day. Probably come here in the morning, hit a nice, solid leg day, and yeah, life goes on. I've drank like no water today. So that uh, was the chest day for tonight. Yeah, I'd go ahead and say that. It's not every workout is going to be filled with high energy and good pumps with every rep on every set with every exercise that you do. Um, I came here tonight kind of with a full head. Me and Tessa both, as you could say. And yeah, it was for, tonight for me, it was more of just a workout to get out of the house and kind of just relieve some stress and you know do something that's going to help me get through the rest of the day and now it is 1950 so what is that like almost eight o'clock yeah so it's almost eight o'clock now but yeah it's dark like this at 334 ish so yeah the energy just wasn't exactly there how i wanted it to be the intensity wasn't up to par um, i didn't really have my exercises in order that i wanted to do i was kind of just going with the flow and what i thought was going to feel the best for the circumstances that i was facing today and yeah these days happen and I'm coming to understand and realize that it's okay when these days happen, but it's ideal not to let today's emotions cross over into tomorrow's day, because tomorrow's a new day, um, new opportunities, new chances, and opportunities to be better than the day you were before, and that is what I'm looking forward to, is just tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be probably a leg day get a good night's rest get some more food in me tonight before I go to bed you know get some water I barely drink any water today yeah there's uh, another thing of what happens is sometimes you just don't eat so much and don't get enough water in I don't do that a lot but today was just one of those days so that's gonna wrap it up for today and I will look back on this particular chest day in the future and be able to see how much I've grown and I, how much I progress from this day. And until tomorrow, if not tomorrow, until the next day, uh, I'll see you then. Peace.